If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question before listening on. Our first step is to draw a picture of a ladder that is leaning against a wall. So the blue line would represent the ladder whose length we can denote as L. The distance from the edge of the ladder to the vertical wall would be A, and then the height from the bottom of the ground up to the top of the ladder would be represented by H. Our next step is to draw the forces that are acting on the ladder. So perhaps the most obvious force is the force of gravity acting straight down at the ladder's center of mass. Now because the ladder is pushing up against the wall, in response the wall pushes back on the ladder to the right and we've labeled that the force of the wall. Also the ladder is pushing down into the ground, so in response the ground pushes up on the ladder, which is the familiar normal force. And then finally, where the ladder contacts the ground, it's attempting to slip to the right. And what's preventing it from slipping to the right is the static frictional force, which points to the left. Now, since the ladder is in equilibrium, we know that the sum of the forces in the x and y directions are both equal to zero. And from that, we know that the magnitude of Fs must equal the magnitude of Fw. And also in the y direction, we would know that the magnitude of Mg would equal the magnitude of Fn. Now, if we take these two equations and divide them, we would have Fs over Fn is equal to Fw over Mg. We should notice on this side that Fs divided by the normal force is equivalent to the coefficient of static friction. So we can replace this with that coefficient of static friction. And this is a result that we're going to hold on to and refer to shortly. Since the latter is in equilibrium, we know that the sum of the torques is also equal to zero. And when we evaluate this equation, we have to select a pivot point. For convenience, we will select the pivot right here, since that is the point where the greatest number of forces is passing through. When we choose the pivot to be right here, that means that the normal force and the static frictional force will produce torques equal to zero. So we can exclude them from our equation and only consider the torques produced by mg and fw. For force Fw, to calculate the torque, we have to multiply the magnitude of the force by the distance to that pivot, which would be L, and then multiplied by the sine of this angle right here. Now hopefully we can see from the diagram that this angle is equivalent to this angle right here. The sine of that angle would equal the opposite side, H, over the hypotenuse, L. So we can actually replace the sine of the angle with H over L. And then, of course, the L's would cancel. Also note that FW, because it's pushing to the right, would try to cause the ladder to rotate in a clockwise fashion about this pivot. So that actually means this torque is negative. For the torque produced by mg, we would have to, again, multiply the magnitude of that force times the distance from that force to the pivot, we can see that that distance would be half of the length of the ladder. So in other words, L divided by two. And then we have to multiply by the sine of this angle right here. Now again, hopefully from the diagram, we can see that this angle is equivalent to this angle here. And that the sine of that angle is equal to the opposite, which is A, over the hypotenuse, which would be L. So we can actually replace the sine of that angle with A over L the L's would cancel, leaving us with mg times a over two. We can see that the mg force is pulling down on the ladder, and that would try to cause the ladder to rotate in a counterclockwise fashion about the pivot. So this torque remains positive. And then we finish by setting that equal to zero. We're going to add fwh over to the other side. And our goal right now is to try to solve this equation for the same ratio that we found earlier, Fw divided by mg. So we'll divide both sides by mg, and then divide both sides by h. So we can see the ratio Fw to mg is equivalent to a over 2h, and we can also see that that ratio is equal to mu s. So we're going to set mu s equal to a over 2h. Now looking at the right triangle in the diagram, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to set up the following relationship. Note that L is the hypotenuse of that right triangle. We'll go ahead and solve this for H. We subtracted A squared from both sides, and then we'll take the square root, and we can see that H is equivalent to this quantity on the right side. So we're going to substitute. We'll substitute right here for H with this quantity here. Now, let's keep in mind what we're actually trying to solve for. We're looking for the distance 
from the foot of the ladder to the base of the wall. Looking at the diagram, that distance is equal to a. So we have to try to solve this equation now for a. And to do that, we can multiply both sides by 2. Perhaps we could then square both sides. Notice the numerator will become a squared, and the denominator will just become l squared minus a squared. We'll then stick a 1 here and cross multiply. We'll go ahead and distribute this term. We'll have to collect the a squared terms to one side, so we'll add that term over to the left. We can factor an a squared out. We'll then divide both sides by the term in parentheses. And then finally, we'll take the square root of both sides. Notice the top on the right side will become 2 mu s l, and then the bottom will just remain with a square root over it. We are finally ready to plug in the known values. Remember, mu s was given to us as 0.46 and the length of the ladder L is 5. And when you calculate that, you should get a value for A of approximately 3.4 meters, and that is indeed the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you're welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post a solution to it on YouTube.